favorite influence factor from Cialdini's list of six is reciprocation. A simple way to explain reciprocation is how we repay others who have done something for us in the past. There's a general distaste for those who take and make no effort to give in return. We often go to great lengths to avoid being a freeloader. Let's follow Stavana for the day to see some real-life examples of reciprocity that range from not-so-free samples to defense tactics. Wake me up! Before you go, go, don't leave me hanging on like a joke. It's a not so free sample. Hello. Hi. I'm here with Red Bull and I have the new coconut edition for you to try out. Would you like to buy some? No, thank you. Are you sure? I'll leave this sample here with you and I'll come back later and see how you like it. Okay. All right. Sure. Have a good look later. The salesperson strategically convinced Stevana to take the product free of charge. Little did she know, the salesperson trapped her into later purchasing the product. That's what I go to school for. It is a real Up next is the rule that enforces uninvited debts. Oh, hey, by the way, I got you a coffee this morning. No big deal. Just don't worry about it. You seemed like you needed to pick me up. Thanks so much. You didn't have to do that. No problem, but you owe me one. Here we see a simple favor done by Stevana's friend. When she accepted the coffee, she was originally unaware she had to repay her friend at all, until she said, you owe me one. And now we see how the rule can trigger unequal exchanges. Hey, remember how I got you that coffee this morning? Yeah. I was wondering if I could have your national championship ticket, like if you weren't going to use it or something. It was really nice of her to bring me that coffee, but I really wanted to go to the national championship game. But she did go out of her way to get it for me. Uh, yeah, that's fine here. Thanks Thank for that you. coffee. After feeling indebted to her friend, Stevana wanted to reciprocate the favor, even though it was definitely an unequal exchange. A cup of coffee is obviously not equal to a ticket for such a big football game. But to clear her debt with her friend, Stevana gave up the ticket as a repayment for the coffee. Next, we have an example of reciprocal concessions. Hey, Stevana, remember that one time I donated to club? Yeah. Um, well, we're raising money to save the tigers. I was wondering if you wanted to donate. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll bend money right now. Thanks. Reciprocal concessions refer to an obligation to make a concession to someone who has made a concession to us. When someone does something nice for another person, the person may feel obligated to return the favor and comply with the request made. Because the student originally helped Stevana with her cause, she felt in debt to the other student and gave them money immediately. So wake me up. Next up is the technique of rejection, then retreat. Okay, class, I have your final exams graded. What did you get? A 95! <laughs> hey, so I'm not expecting a 20. Do you think you could just like round me up to a 100? Hell no. <laughs> What if I just retook it for like half the credit, just to show that I know the information? I guess I can allow that. It's better than just giving you a hundred. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Wow, this is much better. Contrast principle makes smaller requests look even smaller by comparing them with a larger request. Thus, using an initial concession to benefit oneself overall. For example, start with a larger request, one that you know will most likely be turned down. Then make the smaller request, which is really what you wanted the whole time. Here we saw Stevana use rejection then retreat to get the grade she really wanted on the professional selling final. Can't 
nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. And lastly, we see an example of defense. Free sample of Red Bull too. Oh, it was good. Thank you. I was thinking maybe since I gave you the free sample, you'd want to purchase a case with all of these flavors included. Um, yeah, I guess so. That's fine. All right, I'll just give you oh. this. Thanks. And bill will be in the mail. Thank you. you. No, I don't want to hear about it. I was just going to tell you about your headlights. You could just say no to people in order not to be tricked by them, but you might be mistaking someone's actual kindness for trickery. Be sure to understand the difference between genuine favors and deceptive tricks. It looks like Savannah has had quite a long day, but at least we learned a good bit about reciprocation. Reciprocation means we should try to repay what another person has provided us, but that does not mean we should be taken advantage of. Never be pressured to give more than you get, and don't forget you can even use reciprocation to your benefit in your next negotiation. Yeah, you're good. So, our so our favorite influence factor for for Cialdini's list of six reciprocations. <laughs> Let's follow Savannah. <laughs> Was that wrong again? Stavana. Stavana. Okay, got it. Stop <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>